Hey, I'm Carl Horn, and I'm here today to talk about Synergy, two very exciting new technologies. Uh, we have a true turret here, which is the world's first thoracic spine isolation device. It's basically a space age stick that stretches your back in incredible ways. And in addition to that, we have motion guidance laser, which is part of a biofeedback uh, laser system that allows you to see, visually see, where your body is, uh, whether it's in the correct position or in a incorrect or faulty position. So we're going to talk about each of these technologies combined together to help offer so I'm back and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to turn on the laser and I have a target that is in place of my golf ball and I'm going to talk about the structure of my body since we do play golf with our bodies first not our clubs, clubs are tools, as well as these two pieces of equipment are tools. So I've turned on the laser, I'm going to take an address position, I'm going to get the laser focused near the center of this target that's on the ground. From there, I'll grab my true turn, which is already set for, for the length of my arms and the width of my chest very adjustable. I am going to set up to an address position. Now in golf, it's very important that we develop the fundamentals of stance, grip, and posture. Everyone knows that. However, stance, grip, and posture go out the window or down the toilet if you can't rotate. So we're going to learn how to properly rotate into a powerful backswing position using the laser and the true turn. Okay? So, from address, my ideal position is to rotate to the top of my backswing as opposed to lift to the backswing, which is actually an epidemic in, in golf causes an array of problems. We're going to talk about the postures in golf. Um, very, very fundamental information we're going to exchange here today. We're going to keep it focused mainly on how to utilize the motion guidance laser and the true turn together. So, I'm at address. I have my laser set on my target. From address, I want to make sure that I am in secondary axis tilt of my spine. So my spine is in, is in perfectly vertical. That because I'm right-handed, I want to lean to the right just a little bit, simulating my right hand being lower on my golf grip and my left. Right? Golfers understand that. Your righties. So with my secondary axis tilt set to the right, I want to do the best that I can using the laser to keep that laser on the target as I move into my backswing. I'm going to take the true turn, which is going to allow me to rotate my shoulders into the backswing. Now you see the laser is coming off of the target, but just by a little bit. Okay? A faulty movement pattern would be to move my right leg with my backswing. So my shoulders, hips, legs, everything are going up the target line, which is a faulty movement pattern. Okay? I, we want to make sure that we keep our right leg stabilized. And the laser lets you see that, which is very valuable to learning the movement pattern when you don't have a coach or you're not training in front of a mirror, uh, you're working on your game by yourself like most of us do most of the time, 
this laser is invaluable because it tells you where you are. Okay? I'm back with the true turn and emulsion guidance laser system, and we're going to talk about the full swing. We're going to talk about the exaggerated impact position. Uh, both perfectly positioned and faulty movement patterns. So, I say perfectly positioned because I have a laser that is going to help me get to the perfect position for me. Okay, so I'm setting up my laser near my center of my target. Target is in the center of my stance. I have my secondary axis tilt. I'm going to fire my hips into the impact position, which we learned earlier, the laser goes to my target. That's why I say it's perfect, because the laser doesn't lie. The laser goes to my target, my hips are still on plane, true turn follows. This is what an impact position looks like. We call this the exaggerated impact stretch on TrueTurnPro.com. Exaggerated impact stretch. Back to address. Fire my hips. Exaggerated impact stretch. We do this for stretching. We also do this for strength. I can attach a band to the end of this device, turn it into a strength training tool immediately. So, you can imagine a band, I'm rotating and I'm pulling that band, I'm working all the muscles to develop speed and power and distance on the plane, on the correct path, because the laser doesn't lie. True turn rotates me, and that is a perfect position. Now here, we have faulty position for impact. I came into my impact position, extending my spine, losing my posture, by extending my spine. Now, you've all seen golfers go at a golf ball from this position. Look where that laser is pointing. It's pointing right. So far, right? That's OB. That's out of bounds. That ball is going to follow where that laser is going most of the time. Hips are the driving force of my golf swing. My hips push my spine up. My club face stays open. I never have a chance to get square and rotate. That ball is going right. Okay? Now, another faulty position. If I start at the top of my back swing, Keep my right leg stable, take the true turn to the top of my swing. I have a greater than 90 degree rotation in my shoulders. That's just because of the true turn. The laser is pointing up the target. Now it's going to rotate perfectly to the target. But if I were to make a mistake here, the second most common mistake would be over the top. And a lot of you are very familiar with the over the top move. The true turn is showing you you're on the wrong path. The laser and the true turn are both working to the left. That's going to duck hook from left OB. Okay? Again, faulty. Faulty. The laser and the true turn both are showing you what your mistake is. My eyes are on that laser first and the true turn second. And they seem to match most of the time. Okay? Something's gone really bad if they don't match. So, okay, again, correct. Now we're going to work to a full finish. The laser and the true turn are going to point to my target. 
rotate the impact, get the laser going towards the target, get the true turn going towards the target, finish everything to the target. Come back to your dress. Fire the hips, motion guidance laser, target line, true turn, to the impact position, exaggerated stretch, rotate everything. It's my full finish. And that's our finish drill. Now I'll show you the full entire swing, properly and improperly. That was a proper swing. Here's an improper swing. Laser is out. Chest is up. True turn is gone flat. And again, OB. Not a bad back swing, but an over the top move. Again, wrong path, laser is pointing to the left, left OB, duck hook, left rope, not good. These two technologies together are very, very powerful teaching tools, helping you to create biomechanically the right anatomical structures. The golf swing is very structured, and no matter how old you are, junior golfer to a senior golfer, if you want to learn how to maximize and optimize your emotion, if you want to get the most out of your clubs, out of your lesson package, then the Motion Guidance Laser System, I highly suggest, it's an incredible teaching tool for golf, and True Turn is the world's first and greatest back stretching and strengthening device on the plane. Okay, I'm back and I have a laser on my head. Everyone wants to know what's going on with the head, the head movement in the golf swing. Well, let's see, because this laser it's going everywhere my head is going. Again, what I love about the motion guidance laser system is pure, pure truth. It does not lie. Okay, so true turn. Hooked up. I am anatomically corrected because I'm holding on to a true turn that positions my body in the correct position, anatomically. Okay, so if I address my golf ball, that laser is centered in the target, or nearly in the center of the target. And the question in golf is, how does the head move? So let's see. I'm going to rotate into a backswing. Let's see what the laser does. I'm going to rotate into a good, proper backswing. Because I got a true turn and I can do that. Okay, so the laser goes away from the target. Not too far off the target, though. But it certainly does not go outside the target line, which would, which would indicate that I'm picking my head up and I'm moving into a, a loss of posture or early extension. My spine is extending very early and I've lost my posture because of it. My head is lifting, picking up all of I can try and move down at that golf ball. You see a lot of people get to this position. They keep their eyes on that golf ball, but their chin is gone. Their head position is lost. 
as a result of their hips and legs and spine being in the wrong lifting position. When I rotate, this laser is going to work up and down the target line. Back to the center of that target. Even though I have what most people consider a tremendous amount of flexibility, my laser is still traveling away from the target. And that's permissible. There's a little bit of movement in my head away from the ball. Let's see what happens when I go into the ball. Laser doesn't fly. Proper back swing. Move my hips, correct kinematic sequence into the smash position or the impact position. And the laser is much more uh, closer, much closer to the center of the target, which is my golf ball. This is the moment of truth. So that's a beautiful thing. Faulty position going into impact. Wow. That laser jumps off the line. I'm going to keep doing my best to keep my eyes on my golf ball. That laser is right on me again. Let's see what happens when I come over the top. Laser is working actually towards me, coming forward the top. It's forcing my chin down as opposed to early extension, pushing hips forward, it's lifting the chin. Very revealing. I'm amazed at what this laser is able to teach me, an experienced golfer, a low handicap golfer about my position. It is it's amazing. MotionGuidance.com TrueTermPro.com